watch this video all the way through because it's about the 290% short interest in real shares on brokers, SEC investigations, and a lot more. Let's begin with the 290% short. This is a picture of the short interest on AMC at 290% through E-Trade. The amount of people who are short on AMC is over 100% again. We saw it on Fidelity, and now we're seeing it on E-Trade. Once more, I believe this is a great beginning. It's something we've been discussing for a while. Why did they change the reverse split? It did what you said it would do, and Adam Aaron might be using it to gather proof and information. Someone who used to work as a banker on Wall Street said that Adam Aaron's choice to keep quiet was the right one. All of this is, once more, up for discussion. It's possible that this will happen, but it's also important to note that many companies showed very high short interest after the swap and the reverse play. Uh, we've known for a long time that AMC's short interest wasn't just 20%. We just didn't know how much it was. Right now, 29.75% might be what we see. We know what the market cap is and how the price has been changed in the past. We've been given a lot of facts and pieces of information. I believe this is a big step toward getting what we need in the future. Next, and again, I think this is more about shedding light on what is going on right now. Arrow says that if you hold real positions, you will receive more shares. He was right when he said that. There were no shares to spread, but shares that could be lent out. Of course, if you hold CFDB positions, you will get the cash equivalent. But in this case, they are stressing the word real and saying that if you hold real positions, you will get extra shares. It's clear that they are taking advantage of the fact that fake shares are possible in this case. But what are these fake shares? If you own fake shares, you won't get any more. This means that you might be able to buy up synthetic shares that they have made. If that's the case, then this is how we can find out if there are synthetic shares, and if we can prove the existence of synthetic shares for AMC. They then say, I'm sorry, to stop your shares from being loaned out, you can place a request with our trading teams. This is because you can't find a certificate or anything that says the shares are real, so if you're with eOro, you can go check it out for yourself. What Oro's told us so far is that you might not have real shares, and even if you do, they can't show that you have real AMC shares. It's fine too. You can check them out and get in touch with them if you want to stop renting your shares. Yeah, I want to, you want to stop renting your shares. Uh, once more, do it if you want to. Now, it's another morning and the cost to borrow money for AP, the delisted security, is still going up. This means that the cost to borrow AMC is going up again, which has happened before. We've already talked about how it's gone up over 500%, which is very suspicious but shows that everything we've talked about in this video is linked in some way. In this case, we can see that AMC's real short interest has been made public, along with its 290% rise in shares. In the case of Toro, we also talked about how AMC doesn't really have shares in terms of on-sells and brokes. Finally, we can see how the two are related. When the stock Apes was first listed, it was on the newly listed list, but for some reason, it vanished from that list. There wasn't any movement or volume. And now that everyone's attention is off of it, we can see that the cost of borrowing is still going up. This could mean that firms that messed up in the first place are now trying to recover, but the fact that they're already trying to recover shows that things aren't as calm as they make them out to be. This is because they may have thought they got away with it when it was taken off the threshold, uh, that they had manipulated it, found a loophole, and gotten away with it, but uh, the fact that the cost of borrowing is still going up shows that they didn't, in fact, get away with it. They have to try again and recover right now, but we know it's too slow. Since the interest rate has gone over 500%, that should be enough to show you how badly they are screwed. Um, also, the AMC cost of the loan is already higher than 500%, which shows you how important it is. Uh, the SEC said that Bank City Group did not keep records as they should have. AK is getting the books ready, which we can see. The SEC said today that once the case against the broker-dealer was over, disease procedures and disease C's would begin. Citigroup is another business that works with AMC that we've talked about. We talked about the mistakes they made with AMC in the past, like how they built APE and how they dealt with the synthetics and uh, shorting in AMC. They're, they're being looked into because they're hiding costs. So uh, let's talk about uh, what that means for AMC. Is there any costs they're not telling you about? What does that have to do with AMC? Anyhow, AMC did a great thing today. 16.68%, it looks like a good move. 
proves that Algo is right and that we were never wrong. No one is selling, so I don't know what they're buying. It's not shares, though. Um, so, you know, AMC going up and with... We know the fact that AMC does not belong at the price it is at right now. We know that. AMC is definitely deserved to be higher. And the fact that the price of AMC right now is clear and blatant manipulation of the uh, market. But what we need to see is the fact that right now they are buying what seemingly looking like synthetic shares. Again, linking what we talked about in the start of the video, but also it confirms that ELO is bullish, which is, uh, of course, a very good thing. And more on in terms of the brokerages, which what we can see here is we're aware that customers are experiencing issues with Fidelity.com, um, Active Trader Pro, and um, our mobile apps were working urgently on a resol um, resolution. We apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate you being the customer. So, if you guys have go on Twitter today or uh, in the trading community, you'll know that there's been many, many news uh, in regards to Fedeli being down and how often it has been in a month's period. Now, what this is is extremely dodgy. Uh, this taking place at the same time as the AMC change is very helpful since they need to find and give out AMC shares. AMC is also a part of this uh, behind the scenes. I think there is a clear link between what we're seeing and what has happened since AMC changed its mind and reverse split. How is that going to make things better? Is it just because it's useful at the moment? A chance? Or is it because of AMC? If it's the latter, then these are all the facts and evidence we need and are working together. Perhaps, for people in Europe, so many greetings from Germany that it's hard to understand, especially for people from the US, in Germany and Europe, the necessary steps for AMC and AP are currently two to three business days behind schedule, depending on the broker. This is because Clearstream said that the German DTCC has to wait for the delivery of the shares from U.S. custody, which also takes at least two to three days. Once everything has been delivered and booked correctly, the shares are unlocked. So the current situation is very different for each person and each broker. If you are in Europe, like Germany, the UK, or somewhere else, and you're experiencing delays or anything else, please leave a message below and try to get everyone to talk to me. If you know the answer, you can help another ape. Everybody here is here to help each other and answer problems. We need to know this in order to help each other, though. Taking another look at what's going on with the overflow. The price went up because of another good outflow day, with 98 orders coming in and 80 orders going out. This is what should happen when an inflow of any size beats an outflow, no matter how big, medium, or small the order is. The price of a certain stock should go up in this case, as it would normally. There have been times when a lot of money came in and then went away, but this is by far the least usual case. Most of the time, there was a big flow of money, followed by a 16% price rise. But all of these things are happening now. Thanks for taking a look. I hope to see you soon.